There are so many things that make Jazz in July special. First of all, there's Kaufman Concert Hall, which is one of the most beautiful halls in New York City. It's an all wood hall. It sounds so great acoustically. It's great for classical music. It's great for jazz. It's great for spoken word. It's comfortable for the audience, and it's so comfortable for the musicians. Another thing that's so special about Jazz in July is that you have musicians who come together in such unique combinations. I can't think of another concert where I've seen Phil Woods and the Duca de Fonseca, or perhaps Freddie Cole with a great organ trio. Um, there are so many things that are unique in terms of the pairing of the musicians here. One year we had uh, pianists like uh, Hank Jones, Ray Bryant, Cedar Walton, myself, Rini Rosnes, all on the same stage. And this just doesn't happen every day in New York. I remember very fondly the first time that I played at Jazz in July when Dick Hyman was artistic director. I was 20 years old, it was 1987, and I was one of four pianists, Dick Hyman, Roger Kellaway, Marion McPartland, and myself. Boy, I was terrified. I was in awe of these people, and I still am. I believe Jazz in July was originally the idea of producer Hadassah Markson, who produced Jazz in July for its first 20 years with Dick Hyman. She thought it would be a great idea to have a unique jazz festival in New York that happens in the summertime, in July, of course. And Dick Hyman was the perfect person to put that together and bring all the forces together. Dick Hyman was a perfect person to put this type of festival together because he has so much music in him and he loves and understands and is able to play so much music and has such a great relationship with the musicians around him. He always did it in his way and he always did it in a way that uh, had integrity and intensity and passion for the music and the musicians that he loved. And when I took over as artistic director, he said to me, do this your way. Don't feel like you have to make it somebody else's way. And I appreciated that. But I'll always honor everything that Dick Hyman and Hadassah Markson set in motion so many years ago.